For round five of Formula Drift, the Asphalt Anarchy crew traveled west to Evergreen Speedway. We landed Thursday and headed to the track with a lot of work ahead of us. I'll let Taylor explain why that was here in a moment. Taylor, can you give a five second explanation of what's going on? Yeah, so basically at Lake Erie, I got the car really, really hot, like 268 degrees or something like that. I can't remember the exact temperature, but it was in the 260s. So I thought about it for the last three weeks of what we were gonna do about this, if I was gonna try and run it tomorrow and see how it goes. But, um, you know, we just spend so much time and money and effort to come and do this. I've got a spare on the trailer. It's just easier and better to know that you got a quality bullet going in the car and ready to go. Um, it's nothing that the engine's fault or anything like that. I just overheated it trying to go back to back to back. So nobody's fault, just mine. But uh, you know, got J2 local shop here that uh, has been nice enough to provide a lift and helping hands to, uh, to come and help us do this. And couldn't be more appreciative because doing this on a lift inside beats the hell out of doing it on your back in a parking lot. So um, we're gonna rip this heart out, put it back together and uh, should be some fun. Taylor Hull, welcome to round five Formula Drift Seattle, FD Evergreen Speedway, my personal favorite round. It's like ironic that uh, I live in the Southeast and my favorite track is in the Pacific Northwest, it's literally as far as you can get from my house, but this big 5 8 bank oval is uh, just an absolute riot to drive. The fans are outstanding here and I love coming here and look forward to it each and every year. So 
this place is a whole lot of fun. Like I say, near and dear to my heart. We're about to go have some practice and we'll see how it goes. I'm confident that we're gonna be able to have a good round here and follow along. We just finished up final practice before qualifying, got our last couple laps in. This is the first event that I think I've actually gotten all 12 laps that you're allotted before qualifying. But the car's feeling really good. We've got a tire pressure we like, we've got a gear that we like, and the car's feeling fast and hooked up, and I'm able to pretty much put it where I want it. It's a little sketchy coming off the bank, um, but I think it is for everyone, and then you transition into that wall at Outer Zone 3 that's a little scary too. For whatever reason to me, the outer bank is a little bit more comfortable and I'm running like 90, 95 miles an hour there and I'm a little more timid getting into the second wall, which is outer zone three where you're only running like 35, but you know, who knows why why things like that are. But um, car's feeling good. We're gonna go into qualifying, really try and maximize, you know, how good we've done in practice here today and put it up in the top 10, so give, our, give ourselves a favorable battle going into uh, top 32 competition tomorrow. You may wonder why we're doing a little bit different style of video, um, just to touch on that. The reason for that is I found out right when we got here that my sister, her husband, and my nephew have gotten in a plane crash, so we're not gonna be able to film post, um, post event to kind of put the normal video you're used to together. We'll be doing it for the last three rounds, but um, I've gotta get down to Florida since we leave here, so thanks for sticking in here. Hope you enjoyed this one too. See you here at the ball line. That's awesome. Appreciate it. No problem. Don't make sure to register to win a cam. Yes, sir. Can I get a picture? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I love that thing. Here in Irwindale, these are yeah, my right? two favorite tracks. Go on there and check. I don't think it can get worse at this point. <laughs> yeah. Are we doing hard as possible or are we doing, let's do that too. Taylor's, you might be building a Tinder profile, I'm not sure what's going on here. That's all right. I don't think. see a fake Instagram account of you. Yeah, I don't, th I don't know who I'm going to attract with that. <laughs> no, it's all right, let's track. Look, you take it. Yeah, I'm supposed to do that wall. Yeah, style. Got to get the good word out somewhere. <laughs> Thank you.
He's making a couple little adjustments here because it's a little bit more aggressive, but he makes up for it by the proximity to the wall and kind of that X factor that we love to see of drivers getting right up there. Now, on outside zone two and three through the power alley, pretty good job there overall. Was able to fill it, have a nice smooth line. Got back on throttle maybe a little bit later than he, than he should have on the on outside zone three, but he makes it look really good. I think the judges are gonna reward this. You can see that smoke line kind of starts about halfway through as he tries to settle himself into exactly where he wants to leave this bank to head into the power alley. And right there, he does a great job of lining that up and still giving himself enough time to transition to hit that outside zone three, still get that inside clip, and then really roll it nice and deep into that final section there, outside zone number four. All right, let's see what kind of score we're looking at here for Taylor Hall. That comp cams, he's making a lot of cool online content. He's having a lot of fun at home in Georgia. And 82 on 82 for Taylor Hall, and 82 for Mr. Hole in the Comp Cam Texas Tire Yellow Speed Racing Cadillac ATSV. All right, we just finished up qualifying here at FD Seattle. I'm not going to have to be in the not so great eight as Jared has affectionately named it, but uh, didn't get quite as good of a score as we had hoped. Got an 82, which puts us solidly in the top 32 comp. Qualifying's not quite over, it's still going on behind me, but I think it's going to put me somewhere around 20th, so unfortunately I'll probably be chasing first, which I don't love, but it'll let me conserve tires to have a lot of tire for my chase run or for my lead run. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of so-so in my feel about that. Could have been a little higher on the bank. But uh, the rest of the track, I feel like I kind of did a pretty good job. Got outer zone two, got outer zone three, hit the inner clip and tapped the wall and come across the finish line. So wish it was a little bit higher. Thought it might should have been a little bit higher, but uh, I recognize I made some mistakes too. I got to fix those and uh, we'll go on to tomorrow. Saturday comp day. I ended up qualifying 18th. I'm going up against Frederick Gosba who qualified an uncharacteristic 15th. Should be a good battle. I've had some close ones with Freddie before. We've got our team in the background there changing tires, getting ready for final practice. We're hoping to get four laps here. So hopefully the car will feel as good as it did yesterday. We're going to be ready for battle.
Continue to hold his whole family right now with their experience, but Kenny Hall you should definitely be proud. Pop cams and uh, again, that little Molly, yellow speed racing, kind of like ATSC on next tire. But Frederick Osbo gets the win. Frederick Osbo gets the victory in that rock star energy drink. Jeff Gordon fan for the longest time. That's really cool. My dad man. was a huge senior fan, so I see. You sure, man? This is yeah. really cool. Yeah. I definitely don't have one. Yeah. All right. I really appreciate it. Yeah. That's uh, that's definitely something to add to the collection yeah. that I don't have because I I have a lot of these things oh, yeah. too. I really appreciate it, yeah, man. That's really, really thoughtful. Yeah. I figured you're the perfect guy. Smile for him. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll still it's perfect still for us. <laughs> <laughs> That is a wrap for FD Seattle. We're out here mingling with the fans now, but unfortunately we went out in top 32. Yeah, we're one of my nemesis, Frederick Osbo. Uh, probably the nicest guy on grid, but unfortunately a little bit better than us today. Um, had a pretty good battle, I thought. I had a good lead run, he had a good lead run. I had a good chase and he had a great chase. So that was kind of the difference. He chased me a little bit better than I chased him. Took some chances and they worked out, just not quite, uh, quite good enough for me to get the win. So I hate losing here because this is my favorite racetrack. But we had, uh, like I said, we had a good time and overall successful weekend. Didn't hurt the car more than just taillights and bumpers and the normal stuff. But um, like I say, disappointed to to not move on further in the competition. But we're gonna move forward to St. Louis and hopefully have a little bit better result there. Appreciate you watching. Take a moment to like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next video.